Hi, this is Dave from Hawaiian South Shore. I'm in Honolulu, Hawaii at Hawaiian South Shore and we have Taylor Jensen in California and we're gonna go over his signature fin. Uh, we'll first start off with uh, the, um, let's start off with one of your fins. And if you can tell me who what? it's for, what kind of board it's for and all that. All right, uh, let's start off with like the, I guess the power drive. So that's kind of the bigger, more single fin geared fin. Um, that we did. It's basically, it's the fin that I use in my specialty. So when I'm riding, you know, pretty much a, a, a smaller wave board, it's like my go-to single fin for that. Um, it's just kind of an all around fin. It's not like a pivot fin where it's really designed for nose riding. It's a fin that's got a lot of rake. It's got a lot of drive. You know, I like my fins to give me a lot of drive. Like I, the way that I surf, I like to have a lot of drive in my boards, even when it's on a single fin. I like get up and go off the bottom, off the bottom turn. I like to create that speed. So it's a fin that we designed for that. It's got a ton of rake, ton of hold. Um, makes nose riding, you know, you don't have to worry about it slipping out, but at the same time, you can turn really well on rail. And yeah, it's just a fin that, that I wanted to design just to kind of give me that hold on the nose, but also be able to draw out turns and, and create speed. Yeah. So then it comes in um, the G10, and then it has uh, two other colors. The yeah, black. it's got like the the black, the flat black, and then it's also got the wine red. Yeah. So the G10 um, for people that's um, more powerful and, and maybe better surf or heavier. Yeah, it's it. I've actually been riding the G10 in my personal specialty. Um, I know, it just feels a little bit better for me. I'm I'm a bigger guy and and like to really push through my turns and just gives me a little something extra i mean i don't know that, that yeah i yeah uh, <laughs> i can't explain it it just feels a little different and yeah i like like the little bit of twang i get out of it yeah so for people that don't know how how, how tall and uh you are how, how, what's your height and weight um six five and about two ten on a good day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depends how much surfing you've been getting into. Yeah, getting in, uh... after, the, after this last this last month of waves, I'm down. Yeah, I'm under two ten, so that's good. But um, <laughs> yeah, it, it fluctuates a bit. I got two kids that I chase around, and you know, depending on travel and, and what I'm up to, yeah, I fluctuate yeah. ten or ten pounds either way. But it's good. So the template on that fin, um, it has a pretty wide base, and it comes up to the tip. Is is it like a, a, a fatter tip than most? um fins or yeah it's um it's kind of based off a lot of the stuff that guys like nat young and and bob mctavish and mike doyle were riding um you know they they liked i liked the way that they used to surf in the 60s when they were riding longboards it was a lot of power and staying close to the pocket and and rail work and turns and stuff like, like that but they still had the hold on the nose so i drew a lot of inspiration off of their old fins and and fins that nat had had and stuff and I just kind of tweaked it a little bit to be my own. I mean, kind of everything's already been done in the design world of fins. Like, you know, people can go off on crazy tangents and stuff with it, but I just kind of took, took Nat sort of base. He likes a really wide base on his fins to create that drive. And yeah, I kind of started there and then drew up my own sort of template and just tested and tested and tested until it, it felt good. Like I had the right combination of drive and hold, but also maneuverability and agility to kind of, tick all the boxes that I wanted to tick in the way that I like to surf. Right on. So um, do you put your, when you ride the uh, gem, what size do you normally ride? Uh, when I ride the gem, I'll kind of put like a nine or a 10 inch in. When I'm on the special tee, I go 10 or 11 inch in. Um, just mainly because look, the gems got a little bit different bottom contours and stuff. So it has a lot of that performance built into the board and I can get away, you know, a smaller fin feels a lot better. And then when I step back to the specialty, it's a little more of a traditional-esque outline and contours. So I can hop with a bigger fin. I'm more concerned about nose riding and hold and trim than I am about maneuverability. And yeah, kind of go back and forth. But um, yeah, that's, that's the power drive is primarily what I ride in, in my specialty more than the gem. The gem, I kind of tend to go to that, that other, the power flex. All right, hey, thank you very much. No worries, thank you.